Finally, we'll get to the one we talked about from the beginning of the seminar. A biconditional statement is a statement where it's true and its converse is true. We can abbreviate or we write a biconditional statement with the words if and only if. So in the example, we have an angle O has a measure between 90 and 80. Angle O is an obtuse angle. So the biconditional is angle O has a measure between 90 and 180 if and only if angle O is an obtuse angle. A lot of times you'll see it, uh, biconditionals rewritten or abbreviated with IFF. They're not spelling if wrong. They are spelling it as abbreviating if and only if. The only time a biconditional is true is if both parts are true because the statement has to be true and its converse has to be true. So let's take a look here. On example 12, it says two lines intersect at, a right an or at right angles or perpendicular. Since you're doing a biconditional, it doesn't matter which one you start with. You can start with either statement. So I'm going to start with the one they have. I'm going to say two lines that intersect at a right angle. Let me re rewrite that. Two lines are perpendicular I'm going to start with a lost one this time except I can't spell perpendicular. Let's try that again. Perpendicular if and only if they intersect at a right angle I could have written this if two lines intersect at a right angle if an, or two lines intersect at a right angle if and only if they are perpendicular. Now is that true? Let's go forwards. If two lines are perpendicular, must they f intersect at a right angle? Yes. If two lines uh, intersect at a right angle, must they be per perpendicular? That statement is true. Let's take a look at the next one. Whole numbers are rational numbers. So we're going to say um, a number is a whole number if and only if it is rational. Is that statement true? If a number is a whole number, must it be rational? Yes, it must. Because whole numbers are inside. Whole numbers, remember, are just your counting numbers in zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. How about backwards? If a number is rational, must it be a whole number? No. That one is false. Because a number could be like three-fifths. Three-fifths is a rational number, but it's not whole. Because fractions can be rational numbers. That's where we get it from, ratio of two numbers. So if you have a fraction, it's a rational number, but it doesn't have to be a whole number. But if it's a whole number, you can always write a whole number as a fraction, just put it over one. 